Good morning, guys. Good morning again. I started a live video a few minutes ago, but um, the internet these days, man, it is really bad. It is really bad. And I'm not the one to complain, but lately I have been complaining because this cannot continue. So I will force my, you know, I will I will do my complaints with the um, telecommunications company. I never experienced. I always had good connection with um, this company. I used to work for them, but um, man, this is really bad, guys. These are you really need to fix this. But let's agree on something. I will do the live, and when my connection leaves me, or when the internet connection goes bad or goes goes sour. I will just end the video and post that what I have already told you and I will post that to my page and you know just continue as the internet allows us with part two and if it may be a part three because I tried to do a recording but I know that even a recording will be it will be a pain in the ass because uploading it will take like forever with this type of connection even though sometimes i use a land cable but it's still it's still it's still bad and we're paying double now because you know of the inflation in our country and so on but let's get into the video and let's try and see how far we're coming i am grateful even though even Though we have bad internet connection, I am grateful that I have internet connection because there are some countries who still don't have internet connection or who there are some people who cannot afford to have an internet connection. So I'm grateful for having an internet connection, but I will voice my opinion um, or I will submit a complaint to the telecommunication country, but I'm grateful. And what I am grateful for because today is graduate monday i'm grateful for health and i'm grateful for family i am grateful for the fact that my family is healthy even my mother who was diagnosed schizophrenic and she is she right now she's 81 years old and she has high blood pressure and because of her you know because of the mental disorder she doesn't believe in any other type of medicine and she just doesn't drink her blood pressure medicine and sometimes she even steals myself but still she's healthy and thriving and um that's all thanks to the grace of god so i am grateful for health and for the health of my family i am grateful that i was able to do christmas shopping because if i look at the economy in my country man we are really feeling it guys the inflation has gone through the roof and um yeah to be able to do shopping at this time it's really a blessing what are you grateful for please say it in the comments guys because i see you guys watching the videos i see you guys liking the videos and i am thankful for that but i also want you guys to comment and comment on you know say what you're grateful for because when your voice when you're saying what you're grateful for when you like you know saying it with your mouth you are releasing it and also writing it. You are releasing it into the atmosphere and your angels have some work to do. Your angels can start working on it and God will then bless you as well. So because, you know, he sees that you're grateful and there's a whole, you know, there's a whole study on that, but um, this is it for now. So when you express your gratefulness, you will notice that things start to change. That is why I want you guys to express your gratefulness and write it down in the comments as well. When you're writing it down in the comments, you are also helping me because if you're commenting, Facebook will notice and you're liking and commenting and even sharing if you find it interesting and if you want to inspire someone else. And even so, if you're sharing it and if you're commenting, Facebook will see that it is an interesting video and they might, they can, they decide then to show it to more people so more people can enjoy the information in the video. That is how Facebook works. That's how the algorithm of Facebook works. So guys, please help me. Please help yourself by helping me. 
so um it's, it's mutual benefit right so because you are voicing you are expressing your grateful your gratitude you are also helping me to brand myself because when my video gets shared then um you know people will start to notice and then they will see hey you know there's someone there who is doing this and that so um why am i doing this why am i sharing my life story it's not because i want you to feel petty for me i want you to notice realize and um see that gratitude being thankful is really working and that i'm not just saying that because i want to say it or because i read a popular book no i'm saying it because i fully stand behind it because i experienced it so um practicing gratitude really works so where do we go my life story I was born to a mother who was diagnosed schizophrenic and I was brought up by my mother and grandmother and she would get occasional in the beginning it was occasional but then it got frequent and then it became a permanent state but um, she would get occasional like feelings schizophrenia by the way is a mental disorder whereby people um, feel bouts of delusion they experience um, periods of delusion hallucination sometimes even disorder of speech but my mother didn't have that um, also um, also also what else what else lack show lack of interest in life and everything around them so that is what my mother would have occasionally and then she would be taken into the mental hospital and get treatment and then my grandmother would take care of me and when my mother got treated um she was ready to go continue or partake into society again she would come home and take care of me again but when my grandmother died it was me and my mother alone and of course me and my mom we i'm an only child and my mother is an only child of her mother as well and um we had a close close relationship and um she would bring me to sunday school and you know talk about god but um it is pretty scary guys i remember one time when I woke up and she would have you know that thing came on her like like the the, the thing that um, schizophrenic people experience and I would wake up and go into the kitchen and I woke up and went into the kitchen I didn't see my mom so um, I went upstairs again and knocked on her door and she answered me in, with a weird voice you know not a loving um, voice of my mother and that was really scary so um, and I told her mom you have to wake up because I have to go to school and she said leave me alone and I said but I have to go to school and she said you don't have to go to school I said okay but I need bread so I took some money and I went to the store guys I was six to seven years old but you know, I was I was really clever. I am clever. <laughs> so, um I went to I went to buy. God God blesses, you know, God God when you're experiencing some type of difficulties or when you have something that is missing or that is not working as should, God compliments you with special gifts, talents and uh, um abilities in order to survive that what the disability or the thing that you have or experience so i think that is why god created me like i was and like i am so um i took the money and went to the store to buy bread and then i told my neighbor um aunt hannah and i am grateful for her i'm grateful for the whole neighborhood you know my neighborhood was kind of like a neighborhood that they would call in america like the hood you know you have um thieves there you have um um like cocaine sellers or um, drug sellers drug dealer drug dealers um 
people who would curse all day but we're we were a family guys we are a family and i am thankful for even that neighborhood and i'm thankful for how i grew up i'm thankful for my life um so um i told aunt hannah what happened and she said go back home get your stuff and come back here so i went home took my stuff and snuck out of the house and went to aunt hannah and she um you know i bathed there and i prepared for the day and waited on the school bus there and after that you know that is how the neighborhood is because um they know they knew about my mother and her situation so aunt hannah called my aunt my my mother's cousin and she called my aunt and told her about the situation so my aunt came and took me and she made sure that my mother went into the mental hospital um i'm feeling emotional and i didn't think that um i would feel emotional because i'm over that and i'm really grateful for my life and how how everything went but um I'm feeling emotional. I don't know why, but I am grateful for for them. I'm grateful that they were in my life and that um I had these people to take care of me. So I went to my aunt and lived with my aunt and after, you know, when my mom got treated by the mental hospital and she was ready to partake in society again, I would go home again and my mom would take care of me as she always does, you know, the loving, caring mom. And then when she would have like this experience again, then I would go back to my aunt or my godmother and my mother will be, would be taken into the mental hospital again. And after a while, they decided that um, this, she, so my aunt and the government officials decided that um, this is not good for a little child to experience like, you know, one situation, then another, one home and then another again. Um, a child needs, you know, a stable life they need stability in life so they decided that i should go to a children home another experience that i'm thankful for for that i am thankful for because i learned about god well i knew about god because my mother would take me to sunday school and so and would always talk to god but in part two i will tell you about how that went on because that that is part of me telling you all this so um yeah I learned about God and I, I learned resilience and I learned to play with other people, other children. And man, I would have, I, I had one of the one, we had an amazing time there. There was one of the managers. I didn't experience like, you know, the bad time because um, the older, the elder children, the older children, they told me about one bad manager, you know, they experienced, you know, like some difficulties with that manager but i didn't experience that time when i went into that in the to the children home i had an amazing experience and um of course there were things but i know life isn't like you know all glitter and sunshine but it was a happy time for a child to live there and i learned a lot especially one of the managers she the way she showed me about God and her experience with God made me realize that there is a God and that he answers prayers. And man, she, she's an amazing woman. And I pray God blesses her with everything she needs. And I am not visiting her enough to show her my gratitude. But I want to make sure that <laughs> in this vacation, I will go to her. Mom, if you're listening to this, I am grateful for you. Do you know how God used you? to you know to make me into the person that i am today so um yeah that was my experience in the children home so um after a while when i was old enough to go to middle school we left me and another group of um you know children we left the children home and i went back to live with my aunt my aunt by the way was a horrible person but i am still thankful for my aunt because she, with all her, you know, with her horrible attitude and so on, she also had a good side. And she, you know, she made sure that my mom would go into a mental hospital. She would make sure that, you know, I got clothing and everything that I needed, that a child needs. You know, so I am still thankful for her, even though she, 
she really mentally abused me verbally and mentally abused me but i am still thankful for um how she treat you know for the fact that she took her time to take care of me and to make sure that my mom would go into a mental hospital so um yeah i'm thankful for that why am i telling you all this again is um to show you and to prove that you know gratitude prayer and gratitude works and in part two because i am doing this in two parts because otherwise the video will take way too long so next week i will continue and show you guys or tell you guys the part about you know practicing gratitude and why i say that it really works when i say that it works i really mean it i don't just say it because um you know i don't just say it because i read a fancy book or um, watch some youtube videos i stand behind my words i really believe what i'm saying because i experienced it and i wouldn't be able to live the life that i'm living now if i didn't do that if i didn't if i wasn't positive and I, if i wasn't grateful for everything that happened in my life so um and i am also doing this to inspire you because as you know my video my page is all about making money online and now my youtube channel as well um it's all about making money online and um you need a positive mindset when you want to start a business if you are entering a business or starting a business with your old mindset your negative mindset you won't make it because you will get you will get failures you will get discouragement you will be embarrassed you will man the constraints and the challenges that will come onto your pet when you are doing a business or when you start a business it is it is not a little thing so you need to have a positive mindset and a grateful mindset to be grateful for the little you know the little advancement the little improvement and the little steps that you're taking into your business to build your business from the ground up so that is why i'm doing that because if you are starting a business whether it's online or offline it is important to have a positive mindset and my goal here is to inspire you especially one to make money online um but also to inspire you in general and to tell you that you know prayer works my, a positive mindset works having a gratitude a mindset a gratitude mindset it does work so where did i end um about my aunt so when i went back living with my aunt i um i experienced some you know like the mental and verbal abuse when my aunt so when 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 i you know you're a child and you live with your aunt and you every child has chores so if i would wake up an example of the mental and verbal abuse if I would wake up and go downstairs to my aunt and, you know, start with the chores, I had to be extremely, well, every time, as, as long as I woke up in that house and that, you know, there, I had, it was kind of like walking on my toes because I was so afraid of making a mistake. And I think it still has an effect on me right now because sometimes I, you know, I, 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 they, there were experiences in my life where I really had, you know, like a phobia for failing and where I would feel bad about myself for failing. And um, I think it's all because of this, but let me tell you. So it was kind of like walking on your toes because I was so afraid of making a mistake. Because if I would make one mistake, one mistake that woman would start complaining from the morning till the evening if she would go to work she would come back home then i would have some peace because she forgotten a little bit about it but then again if i make another mistake then the whole th thing starts all over again she would complain and talk about and talk, keep talking 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 like a parrot like a broken cd record man she would talk about yes how can i make such a mistake 
and start talking about my mother and my grandmother and how my mother brought me up and that it wasn't a good thing and that is exactly how my mother was dealing with my grandmother and she would talk about my mother in every negative way possible and my grandmother as well and how oh god she would complain and talk about and sometimes she would leave my me my mother and my grandmother alone and then she would talk about something completely different um maybe politics um and you know related to me or some man she was really you know how difficult that is for a nine-year-old or a ten-year-old to constantly hear nagging 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 man and just all because and you know what triggers it one mistake one mistake maybe you misplaced the cheese maybe you didn't wash a plate um well enough that is how she would do that is how it that is what would trigger her to you know start complaining and talking and talking and talking she would even complain because my family has a darker complexion my family my last name is foreign my maiden name and my married name my married name i forgot that word but um i married jones but my maiden name is foreign and my and the foreigns are have a darker complexion so um she would even complain about my my skin color can you imagine she would even talk about my skin color and i would feel so bad about it because she she told me that i that I think that I was better than anyone, everyone else because of my complexion. Man, what will an eight-year-old child how, or a seven-year-old child, how will she think that she is better, him or her? How will that child think that he is better than anyone else because of his or her complexion? Man, she would even talk about that. You know, and maybe that is what led me to, but I love everything dark. My husband, I decided at that time, me, I don't know if it's because of that, but I decided that um, when I marry, my son, my husband will be dark skinned because no way someone will talk to my child like that. I wanted brown children and that's exactly what I got. But that's a whole other story. But that is how that lady, thank you, Cosmos Jude. That is how that lady would go on and on and on so that is part one of my life story next week so i told you about my experiences and that i am still grateful for everything that happened in my life and i will next week i will tell you what i did and i next week thank you cosmos um i will tell you next week what i what I did and how I practice gratitude for me to live the life that I am living now and that show you that it really works. And why do I do that? To inspire you, to motivate you and to tell you that it really works and that you need that to start, you know, to start your business, whether it's online or offline. But I advise online business because I know that to me, that is the best type of business because, um, you know it's automated so you don't have to spend um so much time working two or three jobs and working hard you know um for so for, for many hours because an online business is more automated so um and you can make a lot of money there so that is why i promote it so if you also if you want to start an online business hook me up send me a message um so that i will um enroll you or register you into one of our free webinars and then you can see for yourself how you can start an online business but that is why i'm sharing all this with you to motivate you guys and to inspire you that when you are going to start a business you need to be grateful you need to be thankful and you need a positive mindset when you are starting out your business you cannot go into a business having a negative mindset you won't make it if you are making it it's by luck but not by purpose okay so guys thank you for watching i had a consistent you know one two three viewers every time and that is growth as well so i'm thankful for that as well um see you next week oh see you saturday for the make money online in um video and see you next week for part two of this video 
where I will tell you and where I will show you how I dealt with all this and how it has shaped my life. Great gratitude, prayer, and a positive mindset. Okay, Jaja Sama, remember, you are awesome. You can do everything you put your mind to. You don't know the potential that you have as a human being. So have a grateful week. Practice gratitude. Okay? Bye.